frame four here at the Wuxi City Sports Park Stadium. Xu Yinghui leading Rian Evans 3 0. Covering this event for the last few years and of course home of Ding Junhui, Neil. Yes, he is from Wuxi and in some ways, of course, he's one of the reasons why there is a tournament there in the first place. Of course, the Wuxi Classic initially was just an invitation. It was almost a pipe opener to the season, but it was given full ranking status for the first time last summer. And Ricky Walden came away with the title. Before that, as I say, it was just a tournament which was it would have been nice to win, but it didn't carry ranking points. But it's one of five ranking events in this part of the world, five Chinese tournaments which the international is the biggest. It's got the similar profile to the UK Championship now in uh, the event that's held in York in the north of England because uh, it's high tariff points and high tariff prize money. But that will come on later in the season and you can watch it all live on Eurosport. But uh, this, well, It'd be a good tournament to win. It would get a, a ranking tournament early in the season. And if you think about what happened last year, Ricky Walden, he won this. And of course, at the end of last season, he got to the semi-finals of the World Championship. So it held him in good stead to have some confidence behind him. That was a really well cued shot in the middle. He, he plays well. I think he's a little bit, um, how can I put it, deceptively good. Xu Ying Wei. There's nothing flashy about his game, but he doesn't miss many. It had to be a safety at the end, didn't land on any red. Keeps the pressure on Rian Evans. That was a better safety. I agree. Very well weighted. And of course the problem here, now the red has gone on the left of the table, it's, um, it's one to avoid on the way back up from the safety shot. But uh, Zhu has got to play. Ooh, he's only just avoided it. Cuba was travelling and that's a lovely little cannon on the, the yellow that he knew nothing about. So Rihanna has got the same problem for the, the red on the left on the way back up for the safety shots. It's kind of in a direct line. That's a worry. So she's got to negotiate a path back to bulk as well. She's gone the thick route over onto the far side of the table. That's a, again, that's a nicely played shot with a lot of right hand side on the cue ball to get whip it round the angles.
must be remembered, of course, that Rianne Evans is, as a, a lady player, virtually unbeatable against her own sex. It's just completely in her own league at the moment. With a, a terrific record. Yeah, we were just saying, weren't we? I mean, what is it, nine years in a row now, women's world champion? She has an opportunity to score heavily here. And uh, remarkably, I think it was back in 2006, she actually won it, despite the fact she was seven and a half months pregnant. That's a remarkable performance. Yeah, she's in a league of her own when it comes to the women's game, she really is. And it's good to see her playing on the male circuit. And uh, the chance has come, because she was in a relationship with uh, Mark Allen. And uh, of course, if you've got a long memory, you'll remember that uh, played at the Crucible against Matthew Stevens and young Lauren, Rianne's the daughter, was in the front row at the Crucible and Mark got the win against Matthew. Yeah, it was a nice touch that, wasn't it? Yeah, those two are not together anymore, Rianne and Mark. I think they still have a very friendly relationship though. And uh, it was kind of one of those moments really, wasn't it? Uh, I don't think Matthew Stevens enjoyed it very much, but everyone else seemed to be having a good time at the Crucible that evening. You know, Mark Allen was down and out in that match, wasn't he? I'm trying to remember if it was 9-4, 9-5, but I think it might be 9-5, and then Mark Allen took off, didn't he? Yep, and uh, don't know, we don't know whether young Lowell will ever be a snooker player, but if she is, she's comes from good stock, really, doesn't she, from the yeah. snookering set? She's entitled to be the, probably the greatest snooker player that's ever lived, I should think. <laughs> you but never uh, know. Stranger things have happened. Rihanna's a mother and uh, Mark Cannon is a father. Be quite something. Well, she's got a chance here. She knows. I mean, this is that's a, a chance shot. she needs to take, Neil. Yeah, and that was a lovely shot, Tim. Just... There was pressure on it, and uh, she knocked it in as if it was nothing. And now we're starting to at last see what a decent player she is. Very left eye dominant. If you, anyone has had a chance to notice that yet, if we can get a low shot of the way she cues the ball, it's all left eyed. Uh, the way that she sights the ball. Just got herself now into a nice little rhythm as well. Yeah, in a frame that she absolutely needed to win. I mean, 4 0 down, best of nine. You, you're thinking about your flight home, I would think. It's not necessarily um, a platform for any form of a comeback. Now you can see what I mean. Her chin is actually below the queue. Anyone who has watched snooker as long as I have will remember Graham Miles, whose queue action was not dissimilar, very. Right-handed player, very left-eyed. There you can see what I'm saying. And Graham was exactly the same. Even if anything, his sighting was even further across. It was a tremendous player from the, the Midlands, Birmingham area, in the 70s. Of course, former pop black winner. But I think you'd have to be of a certain age to be comparing Graham Miles to Rian Evans, because that's the only comparison I can think of, is the way they queue. <laughs> Showing your age, Neil. Yeah, possibly so. She's taking these well. Yeah, well, that's uh, Zhu Yingwei. I wonder if he's ever heard of Graham Miles. I very much doubt that. No, it's OK. A little bit tentatively played, I thought, but uh, it's gone in. A lot of natural ability in her game. You know, she doesn't take an awful long time. She's not mechanical. Fairly long bridge, but a nice touch. And I think we're seeing here that she's has got a rightful place on the uh, on the men's tour on sheer ability. And of course, if she's got a rightful place on the tour, then as much as it's annoying, let's say it again, she was drawn out to play the wild card player, and, and that has to stand. 
two right. snooker enthusiasts are saying it's a PR opportunity missed, but listen, you have to play by the uh, the rules. Well, what's definite now is that she's on the board. This has been really good from Rianne Evans. She was under pressure here. And this is what she's produced. The highest break of the match so far. She can release that red. The possibility of a sentry. Yeah. Frame is secure. I only see, I only see one red on that table there. And the other try has just been changed, that graphic. So this is more like it, and it's certainly set Zhu Yingwei back a little bit, this. He'll lead 3-1. He's got a game on now, and he's fully aware of that. That was a lovely break to him, wasn't it? Top break. Unfortunately, couldn't make the century, but it's a, a break of 79, and she will be relieved, but very, very pleased with that. She took them extremely well as we go to the mid-session interval.